dear friends, let me introduce one another. This bushy and unwelcome young man is the former owner of my casino. Huh? And the car, but the two curious Helen, the group, yeah, you did well. Huh? At least until you started to snoop around huh? like an amateur detective. Huh? <laughs> that was not very nice of you. And everything you see around you is a forgotten underground cell, which is soon to become a your private crab. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Handcuffs are a little bit loose. If I wiggle a bit, maybe I can slip out of them. Great. Just pull a little bit more. A little bit more. Damn, I made a mistake. Great. Just pull a little bit more. And it's done. I'll be right with you. Hang in there. Incredible. That must be the Phantom of the Opera's magic trombone. And this? It's his cell. You are free now. You're so brave. Thanks a lot. When I first saw you, I thought you were just another puffed up rich man. But now I see that you're a brave and courageous adventurer. Oh, call me Helen. Okay, Helen. But first we should get out of here. No, I can't put my hand in. Look, a paddle! Great! And another paddle. I'm getting sentimental about paddles. I'm not putting my hands in there. I don't want to lose them.
Well, it still lacks something. You wouldn't get far with a machine like this. We'll put this here. This could work. This could go in here. Well, it still lacks something. You wouldn't get far with a machine like this. A skeleton with a rubber glove? I thought that the return of the vagrant surgeon was pure fiction. I'll take the glove. This would do. Right. It should be okay now. Well, I can't seem to move it. Maybe if I heave as much as I can, it'll budge. Don't ask me where I'm going to put the propeller. There isn't enough space to put it in my pocket now. I'll have to drop something. Yeah, it could be this glove. Look, I've got some space in my pocket now. <laughs> this could work. This could go in here. I can't move that on my own. Helen, I've prepared an escape route, but I need a little help from you. I'd do anything for you. Wait, I can hear voices. casinos quickly enough to accommodate the demand, huh? But that dumbass was rotting in a cell had lots of friends. So we'll go to them. We'll smash their bar to pieces. They'll get money and open a new one. Plus, they'll be even more irritated. We'll stop the supply of illegal alcohol. We'll destroy the farm they get it from. But what about their silly wastes? That mechanic has never lost before. They'll still make money somehow, repair everything, and be even more annoyed. At night, we'll destroy the Bumpkin's racing tractor. Interesting plans. Take care of everything. The farm, the bar, and the workshop. You are, boss. boss. And I'll take care of one more little thing. <laughs> I must warn my mom as soon as I can. And Kit and Sander, of course. Your mother? Of course. We've got a farm outside the town. I was born there. I didn't know that. Well, let's get out of here now. We don't have a moment to spare. In 
sync just like the symphony. Helen, get on. We're going on a trip. This isn't gonna work. What are we gonna do? We're either gonna starve to death or suffocate on poisonous gas. Don't worry, we'll manage somehow. for a while. I'll be back in a minute. Out of here. Thank you. 
Great. We're saved. Light. I can see weak daylight. Oh, I can faintly smell fresh air. Oh. Yes. Hold on, dear. Bump up ahead. <laughs> Forgot. We have to warn Mom, Kid, and Sender. Damn. Quickly, back to town. <laughs> 